for a commission salon, who's going to bear the cost of masks and sanitizing equipment and all that stuff. And I, I mean, as a commission salon, obviously I owner, I believe I will like, I, I would absolutely to keep my staff safe. Um, obviously, I mean, I've always bought gloves for the salon, but, um, I think that's the, one of the benefits of working in a salon business is that the owner, uh, can bear that. But what I will do is I will look at the cost of those gloves and those masks and all of that stuff. And I will put it into the cost of the services, um, provided so that that is covered. So who really will cover it? Um, you know, it will work into the customer cost because it's keeping the customer well, safe you know, and that. Yeah. Yeah. You're like oh, me, Matt. Uh, you, you, you've done a lot of flying, uh, yeah. since nine 11, every airplane ticket that I get, uh, I pay a nine 11 surcharge. Uh, it's 14 or $18 now or $20. And that supports TSA. I've been suggesting that we have say a COVID care surcharge of yeah. $10 per customer to cover everything because we are going to have to research throwaway gloves. We're going to need masks for both of us. Things are going to be different. And a lot of people are looking at it. Is it going to be different for the very short term? No, it's going to be no. different for, for a while. It's going to yeah. be different for a long time. You know, uh, it may never, you know, go back. So we have to start to look at, you know, what would the future look like with beauty adjusted hours? Uh, we might have to have two or three shifts. So we might have to open yeah. at six in the morning and, and work till 11 at night. We have to find out what the law in each state allows, because basically the way we're shaking this down is the federal government has given it to each state to decide the best way things should yeah. be done. So we're going to have to stay in touch with that. Uh, we're going to have to require no teaching. And if you want, um, I mean, no touching, let me read for you because I think this is a perfect time. Yeah, go ahead. This letter, this letter will explain kind of where I think we're coming from. And by the way, if anybody wants a copy of the letter, um, you can just uh, email me, gino at genostampore.com and, and I'll get a copy of it to you. But here's what I'm trying to to develop in dialogue in regard to where we are in the future. My letter says to our valued guests, and I think this letter should be outside the salon on the front door so they can get it before they come in. We are okay. delighted to be back in action. We are ready and we know that you are ready. We want to thank you for your patience and loyalty. Those of you that could not wait are forgiven and we will get you right. COVID-19 is rapidly changing and so are the rules. Here is what we will be doing to ensure your safety and the safety of our staff. We would prefer if everyone wore masks for the time being, we will let you know when the policy changes. Please don't come if you're not feeling well and do not bring anyone who is not feeling well. And we are committed to doing the same. We have an active, serious sanitation process and checklist in place. We will be constantly sanitizing the restrooms, doorknobs, surfaces, and such. The salon will be disinfected every evening at close time. We will all keep our distance. So we are asking that for right now, no hugs, no handshakes, and no unnecessary touching. All towels and smocks and tools will be disinfected constantly throughout the day. We appreciate you and your business. Please help us keep this environment safe. If you see anything that makes you uncomfortable, please help us by sharing. You matter to us, and we will do whatever we can to make this work for all of us. It's I, simple, but I, it's it's I, direct and right to the point, right? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And I, I think the biggest thing for people to understand is we're going to have to come up with systems that are is keeping our business like, like spick and span, <laughs> spick and span. I feel like I'm like, I don't even know where that came from. But we have to keep our businesses very like clean. We have to keep ourselves safe. But the other thing is somebody said, you know, um, I think it was Irene saying that they, she has carousel stations. Uh, they're not all in a row. So that might be good for, for distancing. But this is the thing, guys. There is no social distance in salon. Like, I, I, I keep hearing yeah. salons talk about spreading stations out six feet. But yeah. that, that doesn't make sense because we're on top of it. We touch the other person. So... That is, yeah. there is, there is no social distance. I mean, it's social distance between the customer, but they're still next to us. So, um, so people need to realize that until social distancing is kind of lifted a little bit, like that's when the salons I think will be able to operate. Um, but 
with that being said, I've already started cutting hair, practicing wearing gloves. Um, any of the videos that you see me putting out now, I'm wearing gloves, cutting hair because I, I wanted to, you know, just get a feel for it. Um, because it, our world is going to be different, like you said, and we have to take precautions. That's wonderful, Matt. And, uh, and uh, that, that's great of you to be doing that because yes, for right now, that is the future. And a lot of people see this as an inconvenience, but you have to remember two things. Remember, first of all, if you're healthy, uh, you're lucky and you're doing things right. But also remember that thousands and thousands of people are dying every day. This is not yeah. a joke. Yeah. You know, this is this is real, real serious. And, you know, I, I, I don't know if uh, if I did a pod, uh, Zoom a couple of days ago and I said I made the mistake for the first time in five weeks of going out. I wanted to go to Southern States Co-op and buy some vegetables so that I could start to plant my garden. Okay. I was scared to death. I had goggles, gloves, mask, everything. Well, I get there. I had an N95 mask on because I do a lot of woodworking. And there, I guess there was a doctor there. He goes, hey, you a doc? I said, no, why? He goes, well, you got the doctor mask on. I said, no, no, I use it for woodworking so I don't breathe the sawdust. However, I was, I had so much anxiety. I was so scared. I actually had to go back twice to get items that I bought that I forgot that I bought. So what I'm kind of getting to is, is the world changing and, and have things changed? Of course. You know, yeah. will it change the way our customers see us and the way we see our customers? Uh, of, of course it will. It, it's going to change everything.